This lighting seems all right. I think it seems good. So uh, sometimes, on, I don't always do like 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 uh, reviews on products that I use and all that stuff. Mostly because it's like, oh. eh. But I decided to, to actually do that because, you know, why not? And today I was going to be talking about uh, War Paint, which is a brand of makeup for guys. It's makeup for men, and I got this manual, uh, the book, uh, I got this back at Christmas, um, yeah. Um, so basically all the things that you would, like, have, like, in a makeup set, whether it is your sponge, your sponge, your makeup sponges, I mean, not sponges, but your pads and all that. You also get your li your little sponge, which is kind of cute, which is kind of small, kind of cute. Um, you got and you guys got as well as the assortments of makeup as well, such as your makeup remover, moisturizer, your foundation, primer. Um, and this little, this one, this one is a, is concealer. So, yeah, that's one thing you're gonna honestly need. And as well as your bronzer. Um, and you, you also get, like, a little, as well, like, little brush as well. Um, for those, like, if, if you're really, like, trying to, like, figure, like, one things that you need to do when it comes to applications of makeup. Well, one thing that you're honestly gonna need to know is when it comes to, like, say, if you have, like, five o'clock shadow and you're trying to cover that up whether it's for theater or you're just trying to do it like because you know your own purposes um you would usually you would use like if you have um like if it's, like if your beard or the shadow is a brighter color like a darker color you would use a lighter color like an orange um, and then you as well would use a concealer, which usually will hide things such as scars, spots, blemishes, and all that sort of things, so it is not as visible. Um, oh, and also, like, when it comes to things as well as, like, I know, like, say, the age-old thing is, like, say, eh, when it comes to removing the product that you would use, normally one thing that you would say, like, say, eh, just get a rag, hot water on it. That's not always the best idea. Like, one always good idea is to use the remover. Basically, so then that you can get all that out and as well as it doesn't... Because, like, even if you do just use hot water and all that, it's still going to be there. It's just not going to be as noticeable. So, yeah. Even if you use uh, the soap and water. Honestly, I do think that the manual that, that it comes with is pretty cool honestly it talks about the history of the company and all that and the creator of the company and as does as well as says all that the products that it would have um that for your product for your products and as well as having like say the history of like say hey um how like if you if you don't really know what you were doing it would have step by steps on how to use products whether it would be, say, the finger method, which is, like, you would put a bit of, like, product on your fin your your hand, and then you would, like, rub like that, and then take what you had, dab it on your face, and as well. Or, if you prefer that, you could always use a sponge. Um, it would also uh, give you details on how, like, say, to clean your, um, materials as well. To keep them good and say, and so it's not just, um, so it's not just like always like it gets those little fragments of what was previously used because you don't want to just like have like a sponge and still have like say the bronzer, the uh, concealer or something that because it's always because it's gonna suddenly become a bit of a mess. Plus, you don't want to like always give like say if you give a sponge to your friend. You want to make sure, like, like it's always going to be clean for the next use. And yeah, I mean, honestly, if you're if you're looking for a 
a type of like makeup thing uh and as well as like you're just trying to like don't always like want to like go to something that is more high quality but you just kind of trying to like say and eh, maybe i'll go to like say cvs i'd say this is pretty good this is honestly really good it's got your basics and the things that you would normally need so that's good um and as well as all the other odds and ends like your brushes your sponges and all that so honestly i gotta say for the product of war paint it's pretty good i think it's like if you're a person who uses makeup as well check it out um you might find it at your like a walmart or online perhaps that's just what i think but this is just me talking about something i like